Why Ghanaians in the diaspora still crave for pounded fufu? Fufu is one of Ghana's favorite dishes. Fufu can be prepared from a powdered base, mixed with water, and turned over heat for about 10 to 15 minutes using a wooden spatula. This method is easy, cooks faster, and can taste something quite not close to the authentic pounded delicious fufu I am going to talk about. Ghanaians like to eat fair fufu with freshly cooked soup or broth. It would usually have fresh or dried meat or fish for the sea or river food lovers. For those with fresh fish pellets, palm nut soup with fresh salmon is super delicious. Today, the type of fufu I want to talk about is the pounded fufu. Yes, that is right. Ghana pounded fufu, African style, you. Labor of love. Why labor over one dish of food? Look, in this video I am going to share with you the secret psychology behind pounded fufu. 10 great reasons you might want to switch back to traditional pounded fufu. My 10 authentic reasons pounded fufu is the best method for preparing this all-time favorite dish. That is pounded fufu. Yes, and I repeat this. These are benefits you will not find in processed fufu powder. So, are you in on this or not? Alright. Before I go ahead, please subscribe now to my channel and turn the notifications button on to get updates on my next videos. Manually made fufu is prepared from cassava, yams, or plantains that have been boiled, pounded, and rounded into balls. Fufu, when prepped becomes as starchy, soft with a smooth stretchy texture. The main mode of preparation is by pounding in a wooden mortar using the wooden pestles. The wood used in carving the wooden bowl and pestle are tough wood species and have compact grain, such as cherry or guava tree. Fufu is eaten with savory soup or broth. A lot of Ghanaians enjoy eating fufu as a heavier lunch meal. It is a starch-based meal and can feel quite heavy in your body, especially after eating with a bowl of soup and meat or fish. Fufu, in some other tribes, is eaten by dipping into sauces or eaten with stews of meat, fish or vegetables. Fufu with soup is the popular choice though. Many Ghanaians believe that fufu originated from Ghana and nowhere else. So, again why the labor of love? What is the ethic and value in powdered fufu? when you can buy it as processed powder. Is there a psychology behind pounded Ghana fufu at all? I will answer yes to all of the above and will give you my 10 great reasons now. Number 10. Pounding your boiled tubers keeps you fit. This one is easy to understand why. Did you know that a lot of people go to the gym just to lift dead weights? With homemade authentic Ghana fufu, you pound manually and that keeps you fit. Did you notice the biceps on that man's arms? Pounding fufu can be healthy for your heart and physical body. Number 9. Brings family together. The preparation of fufu as a meal brings families together. In my previous life, I mean when me and my family lived together in Ghana, my mother used to sit on a stool while turning the boiled cassava inside the wooden mortar as part of the fufu prep. I will stand to pound the boiled cassava inside the wooden mortar whilst my mother turns the fufu with her hands. Very rhythmic and skillful hand maneuvers. The wooden pestle we use not too heavy. No one got injured as my mother is always skillful with her hands that way. Meanwhile, my sister will be checking to see if the soup was cooked and we the females in the house had our little gossips and laughter whilst pounding fufu for lunch. Number 8. In Ghana, a lot of families come together during the fufu meal preparation. Almost everyone, young and old, have a role in the process. It can peel the cassava and plantain, discarding the peels, cleaning the pestle and mortar after pounding the fufu. Fufu pounding brings family together more than cooking it in a saucepan over heat. Number 7. Pounded fufu involves different roles and skills. Like I mentioned, pounded fufu requires someone with good kitchen knife skills to peel and clean the plantain and cassava for instance. 
Adolescent or teenage girls, or even the boys can place the peeled tubers over heat to boil. Then, the matured woman can do the fufu turning inside the mortar, while the older men or boys do the pounding. A lot of young Ghanaians learn meal preparation through fufu pounding alone. Mothers make sure that the young boys, or girls, learn the process, starting with simpler tasks. Use of sharp tools such as kitchen knife are reserved for older girls who know how to handle sharp tools safely. Number 6. Pounded fufu meal preparation ensures that everyone is at the right place at the right time. Maybe you haven't thought about this, but once everyone knows that, this afternoon, pounded fufu with palm nut soup and the last pieces of the goat meat is on the menu, guess where they will be by 12 noon? Pounded fufu won't stay fresh for long. Pounded fufu never tastes the same if you store it in the fridge. You try it next time you get pounded fufu. Try wrapping it with a sheet or airtight container stored in the fridge for 24 hours. Then take it out and try the texture. You won't get the stretchy feel. So here is what I mean. Everyone returns home on time. And if you want to be smart, just delay the meal preparation time. And there, you will have more hands to help pound and dish out the fufu without the usual hassle. Don't say I told you to, just do TGE right thing and know that everyone lives to be home, where the fufu is pounded fresh and the eating competition goes live. Hey, did someone say fufu eating competition previously? Yes, I have never seen any other food being used as an eating race like pounded fufu. Like who can collect the biggest ball of fufu, in between the two forefingers and thumb. Dip a hole in the middle to collect soup, and then listen to this. Who is fastest to find the goal? You know what I mean. Open your mouth wide enough and you can score bigger fufu goals and fastest. Sure we all can. Our prestigious high school held a fufu eating competition just before COVID-19 lockdown. It was fun. So, thinking of a team building day, fun activities to celebrate Independence Day. Think pounded fufu eating competition. Fastest to go, fastest to swallow. Yummy. I was trying to remember number four. Number four. Yes. Our local farmers. Cassava, plantain, yam or cocoa yam, boiled for pounded fufu are grown by local Ghanaian farmers. Most areas in Ghana are subsistence or small-scale farmers. This means they grow fewer crops at a time compared to the bigger farms. People buy these foodstuffs from local markets and this helps both the local traders and farmers to make a living. Most powdered fufu get exported on a larger scale, which means that the local farmers may not make as much profit as they should. The middlemen or traders don't get their share of income from fufu before their role is removed from the raw produce to consumer chain. Think about this. And next time, buy locally grown produce to cook at home. We are counting down to number three. Preservation of the natural benefits in raw farm produce. You see, cassava, plantain or other starch-based root tubers are steamed or boiled before they are pounded into fufu. The starch in cassava, when boiled, turns into safe sugars for the human body to consume. Pounding fufu in wooden mortar and pestle doesn't kill healthy food nutrients like drying, milling and then cooking over heat does. Too much processing, especially with machinery destroys vital nutrients in raw produce and food. Now to number two. So, you changed your mind about pounding the steamed tubers? Just eat them as is, with sauce or soup, same way as you would with steamed potatoes at least. You get the option of eating steamed root tubers or plantain, or the pounded fufu. This way creates more choice and options for everyone in the family. Not subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? Please subscribe now to Diaspora Lens, and allow me to alert you about my next videos by turning on the notifications button. Thank you for sharing my videos. Keep spreading the diaspora vibes. And finally, I have the number one reason. 
Why Pounded Fufu will always be on top of the fufu list. For me, whenever I go on holiday to Ghana, I don't miss my homemade fufu and palm nut soup with fresh fish. It tastes natural, it's authentic. It's handmade, it's made from the labor of love. I would have been waiting to eat pounded fufu for so, so, so long. I can get teary if it doesn't happen sooner and smother like I want it. Ooh. Hey, if you haven't done the calculations yet, it's actually more cost effective to prepare pounded fufu than the processed powdered fufu. I know you want to buy processed fufu powder and stash lots of packets into your traveling luggage back to Australia or the UK or the USA. Hey my brothers and sisters in the diaspora. Hope you are enjoying these videos, it's all love messages. Yes ooh, and now, here is the psychology reason I give for the enjoyment we get in eating purely home cooked meals. Knowing you prepared your pounded fufu and soup dish is heartwarming. It's fresh, it's made clean, it's healthy, lots of labor of love have gone into it. And you really get to feel loved by your folks. The thought that a meal is homegrown, organic, healthy and authentic, makes pounded fufu taste better. Trust me. For those who like to support local chop bars and restaurants, I have heard of really great fufu eating joints in central Accra. Just message me to fill you in on some of the COVID-19 safe restaurants in town. When you are served that steaming hot bowl of palm nut soup with white fufu island in the middle, the aroma alone can kickstart your appetite and excite your mind. Go hand-pounded fufu, and you might never revert back to processed fufu.